Welcome back to The Watch. And uh, YouTube seems to just be getting worse. Uh, like, not seems, it is getting worse. It's actually kind of objective. And this last month in particular has been absolutely like, apocalyptic. Yes. <laughs> uh, why don't I talk a little bit about this? Because we've heard you say a lot of things. Like, usually what happens is during this time around the year things is down like ad revenues down views sort of drop a little bit as well but then they usually pick up like about now is when things start to trail back up a bit it happened last year happened the year before like this is happening for a long time this year though has been a bit different things like views dropped ad revenue like how much people get paid dropped but not in the same way. Uh -huh. This is something very different. Yeah, so, and it coincides directly with an algorithm change that not many people are aware of. Mm. And when I saw the change in our analytics, and by the way, when this happens, I usually try and confirm, all right, what would be the cause of this? Mm. And I know I've been in some controversies, like with AI art and other things like that. This, does act not, this doesn't coincide with any yeah. of that. And by the way, like when we track the growth of our channels and mm. things, Every channel loses a certain amount of subscribers every day, week. It's normal. When you post a video. Yeah, yeah. The subscriber loss is completely equivalent. Like yeah. on the day when the controversy lands, yeah, some people get, you know, upset and they leave. Ooh, and uh, then it levels out. And our standard subscriber loss is the same. Like mm. We're not losing waves of subscribers all of a sudden. To, to explain it to mm -hmm. people who don't do YouTube. Basically, yeah. when you post a video, you're going to lose maybe like, say, five subscribers or ten subscribers. But then... Uh, well, let me explain the reason. The reason is, is that when you first post a video, it basically only goes out to your subscribers. Mm -hmm. And so your subscribers can't resubscribe. Yeah. And so the only result is... When you get to large channels, by the way, like a lot of small channels probably don't experience this. Mm -hmm. But with large channels, Shadowversity is 1.6 million. Only subscribers, the only result is a drop in subscribers in when that first goes in. Yes, yeah. but then over the course of a couple of hours, it doesn't mm. even take that long. Like a couple yeah. of hours, it goes back up again. It, mm. it kind of does this like, goes down first and then it goes up and then you just gain subscribers yeah. for the and, most part. And the going up is because the video is being pushed to new people. New people, yeah. right? And by the way, this kind of dip when you first, that's been a standard for like over a year. Yeah. Okay, when you get to a certain size, that's just what happens. Yeah. Now, usually what happens with, it doesn't matter what video on what channel it is, you usually get some amount of new viewers like it gets pushed out to new mm -hmm. viewers just period sometimes it's a little bit sometimes it's a lot over the last couple of months well this last month in particular yeah well yeah. i'd say it's the last two because we're nearly we're, we're in what well, uh, we're in march yeah. now <laughs> yeah it's been a couple months now there's been no new uh, mm -hmm. uh viewers like zilch Almost, <laughs> like like basically no subscriber growth yeah. and by the way this isn't just on shadowversity on night's watch as well, well night's watch spe uh, specifically hasn't lost any subscribers mm. like we, we're still in a net positive oh we usually grow far more like, yes like we yeah. just it's down flatlined. but at least it's not <laughs> negatives yeah yeah and so this is something different and it's okay and it's just one of those continual things where youtube is basically trying to i don't know strangle creators either that they don't want because i don't think it's happening across the board mm. but there are other channels that have mentioned certain things mm. like um the quartering recently mentioned that his views are about the same but the ad revenue is the is worst not. it's ever been yeah. by the way the ad revenue is apocalyptic mm. uh, like when he's not just the like shadowversity like worst it's ever been on the platform flat um and then combined with these weird things where suddenly and it was and it was like on the on the month the month turnover subscribers just flatlined and then combined with the like i i hate to say usual shadow banning and suppression because it's become just we've had to learn to deal with it but that is so friggin dirty right right when we say that right it's like how do you know you know your videos are, are getting suppressed we've confirmed it in multiple ways i got videos going back confirming it by the same videos on other platforms do really well uh comparing growth on tiktok we put our content on tiktok no no suppression we got over a hundred thousand you know mm. um subs and that's without promoting it at all by the way just a platform huge and we even did a recent test where mm. youtube has a new feature that rolled out with this algorithm a stealth feature a stealth because like it's so hard to find <laughs> even when you're looking for it yeah so now when you publish a video you can publish a video and not alert your subscribers which is a bad idea like it's not a good idea for the most part 
very odd feature. Why、yeah. would they add that in if、uh, they were not pushing your content to new subscribers? Like if they were pushing your content to new subscribers, right? And you're getting growth and everything.、Uh, Okay, then why would they have a feature to not alert your view your own subscribers of a video,、mm. so the video would only get promoted to new subscribers, to new viewers, un unsubscribed yeah. people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we tested this right、uh, with our video on Shadowversity, the Dune yeah, knife、uh, video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was really interesting. The results. Is it though? I didn't think it was Do, that yeah, interesting. I, like everything was in <coughs> within like plus or minus a couple of percent of、mm -hmm. a regular video. The, the only difference is, was was a massive difference. It wasn't that massive though. It was a couple、mm. of percentage. Sure, it was a bit better was than the、double. average. It wasn't double. It was near double. It was one percent off double. So what we're able to confirm by testing this feature is one: the video will get less views. Just flat, and we、yes. couldn't risk that. We need views on the, yeah, on the yeah, videos. Yeah. That's why we took this first one down、yeah. and then publish it normally.、Yeah. And when we publish it normally, wasn't getting recommended to new viewers, and the click-through rate was nearly half. Yeah, I, I, and this is it. What just to let you know that means a just a fresh upload that treated the video like you know something in the ether, right?、Uh, the video has a click-through rate of eight percent.、Mm. Which is huge, but because it's going to a much smaller audience, is not being really pushed, and we do have a large subscriber yeah, yeah. base, right?、Uh, resulting in much, much fewer views. Yes.、Yeah. Okay, and it seems like when the, that video was actually suggested to new viewers, eight percent click through rate is good,、mm. right? And a lot more people would watch it, but because it's not getting recommended, and then we have inactive watches. There are people who've subscribed from five years ago that aren't even on the platform anymore,、yeah. right? And so, there's so many old subscribers, right, that either aren't on the platform, don't watch the content. Like for a channel to survive, you need the recommendations to new viewers. Yeah, that's dead. And, and if if you think that this is like an exaggeration, like the graph, if we look、mm -hmm. at the graph, all of last year you have you know、mm -hmm. sort of going like this, like this, and this.、Mm -hmm. as soon as it turned over to like January, there was a, this particular day, all of a sudden it just goes bang. And this isn't re we know revenue drops, yeah, but views like rarely coincide with that, especially subscriber growth. No, and in actual、yeah. fact, I've sometimes seen better views in January.、Um, this is something different. And it is massively affecting not only our、yeah. channels. There are other channels that have、uh, been dealing with the、uh, suppression, the the fact that your videos aren't getting recommended to you, even your own subscribers to the level that it should, right?、Mm. Uh, and、uh, people have reached out. I don't want to name names, but、um, there've been like large established channels that have had to let people go and contract massively because of the drop in revenue and the fact that it's just getting tougher and tougher for creators.、Mm. Yet. YouTube will still promote, you know, corporate videos or the the、uh, whitelisted, you know, kind of、uh, thing that they, the the type of creators they want YouTube to、uh, represent the platform. Basically, you know, they reflect the type. Well, of what's worse、platform. about this is usually if there's a drop in revenue, like that is not a good thing at all.、Mm. But if we're getting enough views, then hopefully we can get some fan support、mm. and we can, you know, keep everything going. The problem with this is if the views drop as well, then it's like, well. Hold on a second.、Mm. Now we can't. Now we can't reach those new people that would,、uh, you know, would support us because they、mm. like the content or whatever it may be. That's why this is even. This is much worse than usual. And so,、uh, it, like, you're left in a position as a creator where YouTube doesn't seem to, I,、uh, I, get better. It's only been getting worse, and you're left wondering why. And I, like, I half suspect if it's been the big. You know, shift with short content. Yes, I think short content did a lasting number because we know that subscriber amount versus your views, right? You got to get a certain amount、mm. of views relative to your subscriber amount for a channel to be like healthy.、Mm. Usually, ten percent. Yeah, yeah. shorts give you a lot of subscribers. There are channels out there with like over a million、mm. subscribers, but can only get a thousand views on a regular video. Yeah, that sort of stuff is catastrophic for a channel's health. Oh yeah. yeah. So. Shorts kind of made this problem ten times worse. I think so because one, they take up so many recommendation、mm. um, space on the front page and things like that. Then it's like the people who watch shorts don't watch regular content, and shorts make no money.、Yep. And now also, by the way, because 
we uh, have really uh, tried to give shorts an honest fair go, like yeah, massively. Yeah. And sometimes we got really, really good results. But guess what? In this same time period, shorts have died for the channels. Not only have they died, originally what people started doing, what we did was we would promote our videos yes. in the shorts. So then hopefully they would get a, a second, a second life. And that right? did work initially. Until YouTube was like, oh, this is a good idea. We should put a link down the bottom. And then I noticed that shorts that have a link to a video do worse than if a video has no like link at all in it. It's they also remove links entirely, so you can't even comment it in the like comment you section. Can't, stuff. You can't post links. You in can there. only do their specific, you know, YouTube integration, and which no one clicks on because it's just white text. Yeah. And it's like if th that would make sense that they would. Like, because Twitter does the same thing, right? X, mm. when you put a link that takes them off platform, the tweet gets suppressed yeah. because they don't want people clicking on it. So therefore they don't want it. And so if they want people stuck on the shorts feed, no friggin' idea why they would want to, but it, I could, it would make sense. That'd be that dumb that Yeah. If you're on the shorts feed, maybe because people get stuck on there for hours, right? And yeah. they want them just to keep flicking through, uh, the embed, any short that has embedded link, which now they can track. Yeah won't be getting as much uh, promoted yeah. because our short views also dropped at the yep. exact same time. Yeah. Yep. And I know, I know a bunch of you guys are going to be commenting right now. Why don't we do uh, Odyssey or Rumble or any one of these other alt platforms? The answer is just... Well, one we do. We're on... Well, if they do automatic... I know Rumble stopped it, but yep. we had all, like mirrored uploads and things yep. on and it's still going on Odyssey at the moment. The thing is, there's just there's not enough people on there. Like mm -hmm. they don't have enough of a, a, a base of yeah. viewers. And look, I'm open to actually mirroring content when we find time. We're just, we're, we're like, even that f extra half hour it takes to like do a re-upload and make sure the title and thumb and tracking all that stuff. We just, we don't even fit that into yeah. with all the content we're putting out. So what are the solutions? We've talked about the massive problems. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing, right? YouTube has been getting progressively worse for the last three years. Yes. I get to, and if I was to try and guess when the um, YouTube golden era for, I guess, creators, because there, there's to me, there's like two golden eras. One was the, uh, the Wild West era where everything was just, oh, there was no censorship at all. Censorship came in, the thing is in. But the, YouTube has a platform to uh, really be uh, good for creators, right? Um, actually kept growing, where revenue was growing, everything like that. And for me, um, it kind of peaked about two, three years ago. Mm. And by the way, this is for a lot of uh, genres of content, mm. okay? Uh, the Sword community, I've always kept a close eye on the Sword community, on the other channels, how they're all doing. And about when I did, I did a video on Shadowversity where YouTube is an unfair platform video, right? That was in response to something that changed for the community. All the channels are basically reporting, except one or two, were like, something's changed, views are cratering. Mm. Uh, we're not getting proper recommendations and stuff. By the way, that has not changed. That mm. problem persisted. Here at Shadowversity, we try to adapt and fight freaking like nails on the thing to keep this boat afloat, right? And we uh, improve content. We make it more watchable. We have done so many innovative things for like our sphere area, right? And we've managed to survive. Like, and that was just to try, and that wasn't to improve things. We managed to maybe keep it going a yeah. bit with a continual slow decline. Yep. But Shadowversity, for the in for the people who are making specifically sword related content, has still maintained the highest views in our sphere. And that's regardless of the, of the people trying to attack us or take us down or the controversies I get into. That hasn't affected it. It's the other stuff. It's the YouTube stuff. Because the big point in comparison actually compare what's, like, is this o only affecting, you know, us? Like, um, Shadowversity? Uh, is it the content? Okay. Is it anything like that? Is to compare it to other people making, you know, the same type of content in yep. our sphere. And the best point in comparison is actually Skalagrim, who has similar, you know, size channel. And... His his views of Jason Space have been getting nuked, and he mentioned he talks about this. Like, and it happened. It started when I made that video mm -hmm. when they were going through down, and it's been a gradual decline. Yeah. Um. And so this isn't just affecting us; it's affecting other people in you know our sphere and community. And now there's this new change that is really weird, right? That is affecting both Shadowversity and Night's Watch. Mm. 
And that's weird because Night's Watch has usually been a consistent grower and yeah, done yeah, well. Yeah. But now both channels, subscriber growth, just flatlined and it's coincided with that algorithm change. And we, we're left in a position like, what's the future going to be like if yeah. it's just been consistently getting worse yeah. for now basically three years? It puts into question what creators can do for the future. Now, I've always tried to uh, not keep my eggs in one basket, branching mm -hmm. out, make, uh, uh, that's why I made Night's Watch. I, mm -hmm. But not only that, I wanted to make other content. And Night's Watch has never been, I guess, profitable, you could say. Um, but it's an investment. And I also am passionate about the content we make here. But also like uh, my writing, graphic novels and things. And uh, maybe that'll be my future. I don't know. I'll always make content because I like making content. But as to how viable it is for a business, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of where it is. Uh, the reason why we're using Shadowversity as the uh, the benchmark is because Night's Watch has experienced something similar. The only difference is on Shadowversity, it's so it's so stark because mm. it's so much bigger. Yeah. On Night's Watch, it's still there. It's just a lot. It's and a I bit think harder the other to thing see. Too is the fact that it started happening with Night's Watch as well. We've yes. been doing this with Shadow Versity for a few years now, but the fact that we're seeing the same things happen to Night's Watch goes, okay, this isn't just a one channel thing. This is like a YouTube cross the platform type issue. Now, we are working on something that is actually somewhat drastic in uh, uh, maybe. Uh, is securing the future of yeah. the business here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to announce anything yet. And it's a Hail Mary. We don't know if it'll work or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but basically, your guys' support on mm. both channels is what is what's keeping everything going at the moment. Well, that's um, the yeah. other side. Like, people might say, because uh, when I did that other video, there were people just saying they don't like your content, which mm. is not accurate to, one, the growth on other platforms, um, uh, the actual interaction with the viewership, uh, likes, and also this, like, recently we did that other test where, mm. all right, let's throw the video out into the ether. The click-through rate was nearly double, right? Yeah, yeah. And so it's never been an issue with the content, okay? But the another thing to confirm is, like, uh, support, you know, viewer support is actually been growing yeah. and it's only thanks to that viewership support that we've been able to keep going yeah. if it wasn't for that and i i hate it but we would have had to contract as a business i would have had to let people go because it wouldn't be enough to cover i uh, like it's that stark right when i say ad revenue has been the worst it's ever been i mean that and i yeah. i said that like I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> however many months ago yeah and, and it's, it's just getting worse it's now. just been getting yeah. worse right now with night's watch in particular I want to hear your guys' opinions on what we could do to make the channel more, I don't know, watchable, more enjoyable, whatever it may mm. be. I'm curious what you guys want. We're directly asking you guys, mm. do you want higher quality? Do you want different topics? Do you want this? We're interested because Shadowversity, I think we've got a very good handle on what mm. we need to do, how we need to make yeah. videos. But with Night's Watch, I'm open to uh, experimenting a bit just to see how different qualities, different this or that, you know. We want Night's Watch to grow, mm -hmm. so the best way to do that is to find content that works for it, and... Oh, yeah, this thing, Night's Watch, the, like, I'm committed to it for two reasons, right? One is I'm passionate about, I guess, what we do here, mm. okay? I, I actually do think we make a difference. People reach out to me, send me private messages, about making massive changes in their lives for the better, right? And so that just, when I see this, like, all right. Yeah, that makes it all worthwhile. The other thing is Night's Watch shows some really significant potential. When we drop a video and uh, sometimes a video on Night's Watch will do better than a video on Shadowversity. Not regularly, but when it shows that level of potential, it's like, all right, this mm. could, you know, grow into something, you know, significant. At the moment, it's not that. Um, we rely on Shadowversity and uh, Night's Watch, because we're less reliant, and we're, there's room to experiment a bit. Yeah. Um, but... I, like it's just one of those videos where our viewers that people do like to know like what's going on on youtube mm. well <laughs> it's just getting worse yeah. and this is all funny because youtube puts out all these useless things however there's one feature that i everybody has been waiting for for like over a year now and that's the a b testing for thumbnails yeah, yeah some larger channels like we've got it on chativersity it's a beta feature at the moment so not everybody has it but that's something that actually would genuinely help every creator yeah and they're like hey we'll just we'll take our time you know we'll just, <laughs> whenever it comes it's it's crazy because they have the tools to mm -hmm. help people make this everything better yeah but 
Well, they just make it worse because even just going into a little tangent here. Last night, I went to watch a tutorial. Mm. One minute, 50 seconds. I got delivered eight ads while trying to skim through that tutorial. Really? Yep. And search when I search topics for Night's Watch, I'll search certain genres or channels, and then I'll get some Markiplier video unrelated completely to anything in my search feed. And so I feel like as a viewer as well... They just make Search it so... and discoverability is is getting absolutely rooted, and uh, they're trying to push the videos they want you. Now, by the way, they have said this overtly that they will manipulate recommendations and searches to push the videos that they want you to watch. Mm. All right, the important ones, and it happened with uh, started with uh, well, even before the pandemic and stuff. It was, uh, but it, uh, it affected the news feeds and everything. That's right. the other thing, too. There's a whole news feed in my home section that I don't need or want, but yeah, I don't by really law, need they need to have it, but I don't want to watch. Yeah, I, I, I ignore it, but it takes up room on recommendations, um, and it's just so darn frustrating. I, I wonder like, like what their larger game plan with was with shorts. Oh, by the way, but just to um, bookend your comment about the ads, right? Mm. I've had to talk to our team specifically that we have to set our ads manually because if we don't, YouTube just spews, goes, just uh, spews ads and you get like an ad, what, every two minutes or something mm, like something that? absurd. It's become so unviewer friendly and uncreative. Like that's the type of crap it, it does. And that really, that impacts the, you know, the watching experience. And so we go out of our way to try and avoid that, you know, just spam of ads um but you experience it just you know i mean even then when we put in an ad break they might deliver three or four ads within that one ad break as well so things for i think both sides are not going good as well you know I they think... they had a feature like um a month ago maybe uh yeah two weeks when they ago. like showed heaps of ads in one no no, no. That one um more. they made ads unskippable for me Wow. Was I the only one who copped that? Yeah. Did anyone else experience? Like, I haven't I'm talking, had any bad... I'm talking about like... I get ads, but like I haven't had bad ad A two-minute unskippable ad. Oh, no, no. See, mine were like 30 and, seconds, and, you can't skip. And it was like algorithm-based because it would only come up when, you know, like um, occasionally. But when it came up, I would just close the video. It's like, I'm not sitting through this crap piss yeah. off. But no, that's legitimately happened. I think they figured out that, yeah, people don't freaking like that. Because I, I actually... Google's like, am I am I just getting a glitch? And it's like, no, Google is experimenting with some people. Uh, it's like, I wonder how that long that'll last. I think the best way to combat this, though, is as soon as you see an ad that's too long, just leave the app website and they'll know in the data. Well, I closed the tab. Yeah, I was you, like, you tell them. off. I'm not putting up with that. Um, all right, so now going back to their larger game plan. Shorts, I really think have done a, a significant bit of damage. Well, I think they've done a sp uh, significant amount of damage to channels who engaged in them. And I mean that, like, because back, back when they launched, it's like, okay, well, this is a lot of views very mm -hmm. quickly. I gain a lot of subscribers from this. What's the kind of the downside? Everybody starts mm -hmm. making shorts. It's a wild, wild west of shorts. All of a sudden, it's like, okay, well, now I've got all these subscribers, but they don't actually watch my content. Mm -hmm. So now my channel is up a creek. <laughs> So we experimented with that, and our focus was on converting shorts viewers yeah. to long-form viewers, and we were getting some. Yes, there was results. Yeah, there were results, but when we saw the results die, mm. that's when it's like, there's no incentive for doing shorts. Yeah. Mm. You might notice in adversity, we're not doing shorts anymore, yeah. because the incentive is gone. It's absolutely... Like, even then, the incentive was thin yeah, then, because thin. shorts take a little bit to edit. Like, they're not... They're... They're frustrating. Mm. They're hard. They take they they take a disproportionate mm. amount of time to edit versus yeah. any any type of games. Yeah. And so we got nearly three to four hundred thousand views mm. from our total shorts subscribe subscriber thing, right? Yeah. Our our views on long form content have only gotten worse over time. Yeah. <laughs> like it hasn't improved, yeah. and that's an extra like four hundred thousand subscribers. Short subs basically don't like that's why they, the, they mean nothing yeah that's why you see the short channels get no views because yeah. they don't watch uh, there's a different algorithm or recommendation youtube doesn't recommend to short subs and everything yeah. like that now in terms of subscriber growth we tested this like and even though we're not doing any now there were times previously where we would stop shorts for like a month or two and everything like that and the sub growth the average sub growth from our normal videos was around 200 to 500 new subs a day yeah 
Okay, that's on top of the yeah. average amount that you lose. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously there were other videos that if they did really good, yep. you'd get yep. a disproportionate amount. That's when that's shorts average. when yeah. shorts were bringing in um, subs, uh, that was like two thousand to ten thousand subs a day sometimes. Yeah. Like the short the, the short subscriber growth was huge, but you don't make money off shorts. Yep. They don't watch regular content. The thing was though is like that wasn't affecting normal sub growth for mm. our regular content, and it also wasn't really affecting views on yeah. regular videos. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, and then they changed up the short thing, and now it's back to the point where it's like, okay, they, well, now the shorts is a, are doing nothing. Yeah. And then on top of that, normal subscriber growth from normal videos have just flatlined yeah. for two separate channels for us, and it coincides, like I said, directly with the algorithm yeah. change, and it's like. So to summarize everything, basically everything's looking pretty bleak, but because of you guys' support uh, on both the channels, we're able to keep everything going. We're not sitting here twiddling our thumbs and complaining. We are also trying. We've got stuff in the works to hopefully... Like a, yeah, we're prepping something quite drastic. Yes. Uh, so that's where everything kind of sits at the moment. And hopefully this is just a... A, a worse version of what's been happening at the start of every year. But... I, I, I hope that every time things... Like, get better get worse yeah. but the track record is it doesn't yeah, but this is the thing like this is what this is such a bad change what has worried worries me about this more than everything else is last year when this happened we started putting out like big videos mm -hmm. and they they kind of didn't do all right when they first went out but over the like the couple months they went to mammoth numbers mm -hmm. this year we haven't seen that yeah and yeah, i'm like yeah. Even when, like, the suppression, right? If we did a really good video. It would break through, yeah. Break through and get, like, and do numbers, mm. right? We had a video uh, recently on Shadowversity that was one of those videos that, it like, I'll tell you why I know it didn't go to new new viewers, right? But it did really well, over 300,000 views. Mm. That's our carbon fiber That's our armor carbon video, fiber, yeah. right? Did great, barely any sub growth. Yeah. Like, like I'll tell you, basically none. And, and that is nuts. When a video does like that well with our own subscribers, the algorithm you would always pick up on it and push it to new viewers. Yeah. We look, we look at the sub growth on that video and the video did huge numbers. And when we released it, huge numbers out of the gate, yeah. like high click through rate with our core audience, everything like that. And then YouTube just crushed it. Did now, not get recommended to new viewers at all for a video that did phenomenal. There is a possibility that we've discussed about, and that might just be that Shadowversity has reached its ceiling for the type of niche of the content that it's in. See, it just might be at its ceiling, but that shouldn't that, affect that shouldn't affect that video, it, and it didn't like it shouldn't affect views though. That well, should yeah. affect just subscriber growth in but general. If you weren't mm. depending on new people, then yeah. everyone would watch the videos because yes. they're subscribed. Yes, and it doesn't affect Night's Watch either. Yet somehow we've yes. also seen yes. the same yeah. changes. And, and there are videos that, like I said, out of the gate do huge amounts our own audience and should do much bigger for new audiences, mm -hmm. but. And we have confirmation on that with the Dune Dagger video. When we did not alert our subscribers, which is this weird feature, right? Mm. This click-through rate was near double, but it got way less recommendations because, like I said, we do have a large subscriber yeah. round. And so even though the click-through rate was really good, we need the video to get more views because we need revenue, <laughs> even though it's so yeah. much worse. Yeah. So we had to take it down because once we got uh, the first few hours of tracking data on it, we like, like there's trends and uh, with YouTube videos, basically based on the first hour, two hours of how it does, you get nearly a 99% accurate projection on how well it will do in a week. Yeah. Uh, and that's been true for nearly all videos. And based on the views that I got in the first one to two hours, we knew this is going to peak at about 30,000 views. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's like, we, you know, we need we yeah. need our videos to do better than that, and so we took it down. And uh, they went the re-upload video of it is now sitting at um, sixty four thousand, which is bad for us, but much better than what then, the other feature yes. was. So even though we got a high mm. click through rate, it's like we would take a, a yeah. loss on so that. So just to let you know, the, so the one that had a high click through rate would have got lost views because of low recommendations. This re-upload, its click through rate is sitting at 3.8% yes. versus 8.1% okay, on the well, other one. But it's, I know it peaks and then yes, levels out. Okay. And That's stuff. the only caveat there, yes. Its peak click through rate was 3.9%. Yes. There's, still <laughs> there's also the added caveat you uploaded at night time, Shad. There's that as no, well. no, that shouldn't affect click through rate. <laughs> 
That's true. It shouldn't affect. It shouldn't affect fixed rate. It would affect impressions. Yeah, right, right. exactly. So we have that confirmation that people who are not subscribed to our videos are absolutely interested in watching when we sent it out to non-viewers that only went out to, like, like the, again. And so, yeah, something dodgy is 100% happening, but this is where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we're at. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we just, we're going to keep going. Um, that's all we can do. And like I said, we're not giving up. But... <sighs> Making videos like this, hopefully, maybe, you know, yeah. um, there'd be, you know, some... Maybe this is more indulgent for us, just to talk to you guys about Frustrating, it. Frustrating, because yeah. we need to then let you know what, what's going on. But also, it'd be nice if, uh, you know, a number of people also started saying, yeah, yeah, this sucks, mm. YouTube, how about you try and prove things? Like YouTube listens, though, but then, you know. Uh, that's where things are at, guys. Thanks for just letting us vent a bit. Yeah. And as always, stay on watch. <laughs> Thank you